my last video, I unboxed the Aloha mini series balloon bag and quickly got overwhelmed because I had no idea how I was going to stuff it full of all the balloons that I purchased. So we're back and I'm gonna show you how I packed my balloon bag. Just a warning, um, I'm not the most organized person and I know that there are some balloon artists who are light years ahead of me in talent as well as in organizational skills. And if you are a balloon artist, you might have some words about how I've organized my bag. And feel free to let me know in the comments. But also let's realize that what works for you might not work for me. And this works for me. Anyway, let's look at the bag. So let's start with the side pockets. I have some pff, ribbons. I don't actually know what I'm gonna use the ribbons for, but that's where I'm keeping them because I don't see myself using the side pockets that often. I also have pretty much an empty pocket, except I have some business cards. And this is where I'm gonna keep my tips. If I do get tips during my gigs, they'll go in there. It's a nice zippered pocket. In these mesh elastic pieces, I have a variety of colors, but on this side, I have all Mr. Cool. That's a Mr. Cool. He's got aviators and a mustache. Underneath Mr. Cool, I have some five inch hearts. If I go to my right, you'll see all of these uh, balloons are black. These are ninjas. A little ninja balloon. In this mesh side pocket, my uh, cutter clip. This is also from bagaloon.com. And I put this right here on the side of the balloon bag. That way, if I need to cut any balloons, I can just push it through there. And it's a um, similar design to a, a seatbelt cutter. I have some rubber bands, some excess balloons, some scrunchies. Scrunchies are really useful uh, for certain balloon uh, wearables. On this side, I have all hearts, red hearts. And yeah, that's the outsides of the bag. On the inside of the bag, ho ho, we have one of these. This is an essential for any balloon artist. This is a little laundry hamper. So if you arrive early for a gig, you can pump up a bunch of balloon swords, butterfly wands, axes, and stuff them in here. And that way, if you know, someone wants a different color, like a blue instead of a green that you're making, you can just hand them something out of, the, out of the laundry bag. On the side of the bag, I have a bunch of Sharpies. On the base of the bag, I have a bunch of my like popped balloons, scraps. And then on the sides, I have all of my different colors. So I have my darker colors on one side. I have my greens, blues, purples. They're on the, the left side. And then on the right side, I have the brighter colors. On the front side of the bag, I have my clears, my whites, and then eventually I'll have my blacks on there. And yeah, that's it. That's my whole balloon bag. So the one mistake I made uh, buying balloons is I bought a bunch of 100 count instead of 50 count. When you get 50 counts, they come in the, the plastic bags that you can kind of just put in your balloon bag. The 100 count come in like regular bags. Uh, they're all kind of like unorganized. Um, so it took a little bit of extra time, but I learned this from Reed from Circus Dynamics. In fact, he has like a, another even more complicated way of making these, but this is just cardstock with some rubber bands around them. And this will hold your balloons in place. And you just have to be very gentle with how you place them into the, the bag itself. The benefit of doing this is you can buy 100 count balloons the negative is they're gonna be exposed to air, uh, which will degrade them over time. If it were up to me, if I could do it over again, I would buy just the 50 counts and then put them in the wrap that Bag of Loon has. So this is the wrap. Uh, basically, they go through these elastics and then you roll it up, place it in the middle, and you're done. But for now, I'm gonna get through all of the balloons that I have. And then when I restock, I'm just gonna get the 50 counts. And yeah, that is my Aloha mini series balloon bag, fully stocked and embroidered. Got the little balloon dog on the top. I love it. Thank you, bagaloon.com. It's a great bag.
just wanted to end it by saying um, I'm not a balloon artist. I'm a balloon twister. If you do want to see like a really talented balloon artist, check out Reed from Circus Dynamics as well as Rob the Balloon Guy. Um, those are the two artists that I've worked with in the past and they are great at what they do. I'm also great at what I do, but I'm pragmatic when it comes to balloon animals.